everyone to this week's analysis. Today is the 4th of September 2022. So we are starting our first full week of September trading in the Forex market. And what an exciting week it's going to be. Look at the news that's coming out. This is ForexFactory.com. Uh, many of the central banks around the world are looking to increase their interest rate. This will be starting on Tuesday. You have the Australian dollar and then on uh, on Thursday, you have the Central European Bank, and then uh, the, I believe the Canadian Bank I saw in there. Yeah, that's on Wednesday, okay? So the Australian Bank, Central Bank, the Canadian Central Bank, European Central Bank, all looking to increase their interest rates. And then, of course, we have <laughs> Jerome Powell will be speaking on uh, Thursday, and he always shakes up the markets. So be sure and check forexfactory.com for your local time for these uh, data releases and uh, be aware that there's going to be an, a very, very exciting week and lots of volatility. However, the U.S. market is closed on Monday, and that is for their Labor Day holiday, so we can expect light volume on Monday's trading. So let's jump into the charts and see what's coming up. Before I get into the four-hour chart and show you the trades that I will be taking, I just saw an interesting formation on the uh, one-day chart. And what you see here is a, a downward movement that we had and finished up on the 21st of July. We had a big bearish candle on the 20th of July, and it stopped right at uh, a strong support, 1695. And then that was followed by a bullish engulfing candle. And a bullish engulfing candle can oftentimes mean that uh, there's going to be a change in direction. And we saw a slingshot move up to... Uh, 18 above 1800 about 180 1807 it got up to okay on the 10th of August and then it fell down again and look at what has happened on last Thursday on the 1st of September uh, the price of gold closed at 1695 the same as it did back here on the 20th of July and that was a big bearish candle couldn't go any lower than that and then that was followed by a bullish engulfing candle on Friday. So some analysts that I follow say, hey, it's time to buy gold. <laughs> but on my daily chart, the strategy I use, I'm still getting bearish indication. Uh, gold is still bearish on my long-term chart. However, uh, you can interpret this any way you want to. I just thought it is an interesting perspective. Okay, we could see a change in direction. And then in fact, if you go to the four hour chart, gold definitely appears to be turning bullish. However, I am, my sentiment is bearish and I'm looking to sell gold, so I will wait for it to continue its move up, continue its correction uh, to about 1730. That is our, uh, one of our uh, resistance points. Okay, we have a first resistance at 1717 and it's just above where we are now. We closed Friday at 1711, so a little bit higher to 1717 our next resistance level right about in here, and then 1730 where I believe it might get to, and then that's where I have a sell limit, a sell limit for gold at 1730. With the resistance, a higher resistance 1755, then you see the support here, 1708, 1700, and 1680, which we didn't manage to get to. Uh, it got down to uh, 1688, okay? That could be the low. Well, we'll just wait and see. You need to be nimble, be flexible, uh, again, on the day chart, we are bearish on gold. On the four-hour chart, it's starting to look bullish. So be careful, okay? Be nimble, be flexible. I'm having a gold sell limit at 1730. Then the Euro US, I have a sell limit at 1.0003. We could see uh, some a lot of volatility with the uh, European Central Bank increasing the interest rate quite a bit. Okay, they are, all of the central banks are starting to follow the... Uh, uh, Jerome Powell big move that he made and they're making big changes to the interest rate so we could see a lot of volatility with the euro US but for the moment I have a sell limit on the euro US and 1.0003 it's definitely bearish the euro US the odd US I have a sell limit also okay it continues its bearish run but let it retrace let it make some more correction and have a sell limit at 0 0.6870 the New, Ze New Zealand U.S. is also continuing to be bearish, and I have a sell limit on that at 0 
The pound U.S., oh my goodness, <laughs> how much lower can it go? <laughs> okay, the pound U.S. is right now trading at 1.1506. It got down to 1.14 uh, two and a half years ago, okay, so it's almost reached that low, all right, but it, it can still go further. It, it did get lower than that. The previous time it was lower than that was in 1985, <laughs> and that's what, uh, 37 years ago. So I really think, surely, surely, the, the pound U.S. has run out of steam. But the uh, U.K. economy is, is suffering drastically. But anything can happen. Um, you know, if the central bank jumps in and starts to uh, do some, uh, they intervene and then try to pump up the pound, then, uh, you know, we could see a change in direction. But the pound U.S. has been bearish for a long, long time. So I have a sell limit. Let it retrace back up to... Uh, this area 1.1700 and then I will go short again on the pound US. For the odd JPY I have a buy limit okay at 94.95 it's showing bullish on the long-term chart. Uh, for the CAD JPY I, I've got no trade. Uh, the, the CAD JPY has not been up in this area for a long long time it's very very high on the chart. And uh, I, it, yeah, it can go up a little bit more, but it's been a long, long time since it's been in this area, many, many years. And with the price of oil dropping, I just don't see any strength in the Canadian dollar. So I'm just going to uh, step aside for this week and have no trade on the CAD JPY. And same thing with the uh, Swiss JPY. Uh, it's extremely high. Okay, it can go back up here and test this, but if you look back, you see it, it keeps bouncing off of this. Uh, in this zone around 143, 143 and a little bit, keeps bouncing off of that, and I just don't think it has much more power to go uh, too much higher than that. It can go a little bit, all right, this week, sure, it's, it's dropped down today, uh, last week, sorry, dropped down last week, and it can move up back and test this uh, 143 zone, but I just want to stay out of this one. You see a big drop here, and then a big move up, now it's starting to fall down. So no real clear direction on the Swiss JPY. The pound JPY, I have a sell limit. <laughs> it's been bearish for a long time, but it's just been going sideways for about two or three weeks. So I'm still bearish on the pound JPY and uh, have a sell limit at 161.95. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so uh, you'll uh, see these videos every time I come out, which is uh, every every Sunday. All right, be sure and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I, I do make the videos on a regular basis every Sunday. If you have any comments, leave them below this video, and I will reply back to you. Thanks again for being here. Take care. Have a great week of trading. And remember, don't be greedy. Don't overtrade. Don't overlock. Let the market come to you, okay, and most of all, protect your capital. Thanks again. Bye-bye.